uh, welcome to my youtube channel so uh, today our topic is weathering of rocks and minerals so what is weathering weathering is a physical disintegration of rocks and minerals the rocks and minerals when it is weathered and naturally broke down and transport uh, transformation into unconsolidated residue that is regolith uh, <coughs> so the weathering is the uh, disintegration or the the rocks and minerals is broken down into smaller pieces that is called the weathering the rock is uh, uh, when it is broken down in transformation and due to the this transformation activity and it is uh, the rocks is broken down into smaller and smaller pieces the soil is formed is uh, this this process is called weathering process so, so there is a two type of weathering processes the physical weathering and chemical weathering the chemical weathering is also called as a mechanical weathering uh, the different weathering agent takes parts into weathering, weathering processes like the uh, water ice temperature so these are the weathering agent which play important role in the physical weathering so this physical weathering is also called as a disintegration integration means to combine disintegration means uh, uh, means alag ho jana usko disintegration kehte hain the chemical weathering the different chemical processes takes place at the uh, surface of the rocks and minerals so it is also called as a decomposition so here in figure the we saw about the uh, how this weathering process is uh, occurring so there is a three type of the rocks igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rock and in earlier lecture we uh, understand about the igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rock so this <coughs> when the igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rock is uh, exposed to the weathering the physical weathering and chemical weathering and this uh, different rocks and minerals is uh, broken down into smaller and smaller pieces and ultimately it is uh, became a zoid so weathering is a combination of of comb you know destruction and synthesis process so there is a two process simultaneously uh, takes place at the <coughs> rocks at, at the rocks and minerals the rocks are first broken down into smaller particle of which they are composed that is called destructive process when it is rock is broken down into smaller particle it is destructive process the minerals are attacked by the chemical forces result in the release of soluble constituent the soluble constituents may either be lost in drainage water or recombine to form new minerals so this is constructive process here uh, the destructive process when the rocks and minerals is broken down into smaller pieces that is the destructive process when by the different uh, agent uh, the minerals and rocks and minerals the some some uh, the soluble constituents are come out and it is uh, drained by the water and transformed to the another place and it is come recombined and it is called constructive process the different uh, um, weathering uh, agents are there the physical weathering agent are temperature water wind ice plant and animals so these are the physical uh, weathering uh, agent and the chemical weathering agents are the different processes like the solution hydration hydrolysis oxidation reduction and carbonation so different the chemical processes takes place on the surface of the so, uh, surface of the rocks and minerals and and uh, due to these uh, processes the uh, the rock and minerals is broken down into pieces so let's uh, understand about the physical weathering so physical weathering is is just uh, the uh, these uh, the rocks and minerals is broken down into smaller pieces without any chemical changes that is called physical weathering so here we see the different agent temperature water wind ice and plant and animals so first of all the temperature when the temperature is increasing and decreasing the expansion and construction is takes place so due to this expansion and contraction the rock uh, the surface of the rock and in between the rocks the crack is formed when the crack is 
increasing and it is broke the rock is broken down into pieces this uh, this uh, uh, is called the exfoliation okay the dark color rock uh, absolutely more like more temperature so it is more sensitive to the broken down and then the light color uh, rock okay here we see how this rock is uh, due to the expansion and contraction it is broken down so jo din mein jo jo sunlight ho sunlight se jo ye rock hai wo rock expand hota rehta hai aur raat mein kya hota hai ki wo jo contraction hota rehta hai to bahut saal bahut means many years when the contraction and expansion takes place the rock is weaker and then it is broken down into pieces here we see when the rock surface heat up and expand and rock surface cool and contract so this expansion and contraction is takes place for so many years then these jo uske upar jo weak jo particles hai stone rock aur minerals ke jo weak particle hai wo dheere dheere fall down hote rehte hain aur ye iska ye weathering rock ka weathering hota rehta hai here we see this rock is fall down due to the temperature effect here we see the crack in the rock due to the uh, temperature the construction and expansion here we see the small crack is there and due to the expansion and contraction due to the day and night temperature it is broken down into pieces and now, now the water so what is also play important role when water freeze in crack the volume is expand by the 9% and create the 150 ton force per feet square and rock split into small stone the moving water at a speed of 15 cm 30 1.2 m and 9 m per second carry fine sand gravel stone <coughs> and boulder the water uh, water is also exposed to the rock surface and the Uh, it is uh, uh, physical disintegration which takes place the excavation and destructive action of water is called denudation <coughs> now here we see the how this water is uh, with the rocks and minerals how this uh, due to the heavy uh, water flowing this rock is uh, uh, <coughs> come with the water and the some rocks is broken down here this landslide is uh, due to the heavy rain or the heavy water flow how this water flow uh, disintegrate these rocks here we also see the example here how this water is uh, flowing uh, very speedily so there is the rocks uh, is uh, this uh, this rock is disintegrated or weather now when in small crack the jab ye small crack ke andar jo pani aa jata hai to pani wo ice ban jata hai to ice banne ke karan wo expansion hota rehta hai uska jab ice banega to expand hoga to uske karan bhi ye rock uska ek broken ho jata hai jaise ye rain water yahan collect hua uske baad ye temperature माइनस uh, में चला गया फिर टेम्परेचर बढ़ बढ़ गया तो उसके कारण जो ये आइस uh, है उसका एक्सपेंड होता रहेगा उसका फिर ये रॉक ब्रोकन uh, uh, हो जाएगा आइस इज आल्सो वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट इम्पोर्टेंट एजेंट फॉर द वेदरिंग ऑफ द रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स सो मूविंग आइस is an erosive detachment and transport transporting agency with tremendous capacity detachment means kahi se alag ho jana to detach ho jana transporting means transport wo uh, jo detachment jo particle detach ho gaye hai usko fir transport ek jagah se dusri jagah le jata hai snow receive at high elevation or polar region accumulate and start the moving in the form of glacier 
जो हाई एलिवेशन पे जो स्नो रिसीव होता है उसके बाद जो एक्यूमलेट हो जाता है एंड देन इट इज स्टार्ट मूविंग ड्यू टू दिस डिफरेंट प्रोसेस एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड द ग्लेशियर एंड ड्यू टू द ग्लेशियर मूविंग द रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स आर वेदर्ड सो इट इज कटिंग एंड क्रशिंग ऑफ द बेड रॉक ग्लेशियर आर नॉट एक्सटेंसिवली इन द प्रेजेंट डे सो ग्लेशियर अभी कोई इतना ज़्यादा वेदरिंग में कोई काम नहीं करता लेकिन जो हिमालय हमारा जो नॉर्थर्न पार्ट है हिमालय उसमें अभी ग्लेशियर एक्टिव है और उसके कारण रॉक और मिनरल्स का वेदरिंग होता रहता है हेयर वी सी दी वेदरिंग विंड so when the wind blowing at the very high speed it carrying the particles so blowing constantly on the rock so uh, the grinding action is takes place and uh, the the small amount of the particles small amount of the rocks and minerals is come out and it is blowing with the wind that is called the uh, disintegration so when the uh, wind velocity Uh, wind velocity is 5 meter per second it transported 0.25 mm size particles and 10 meter per second that uh, transported the 1 mm size uh, particles here we see how this uh, rock is uh, <coughs> weathered due to the uh, uh, by the wind here we see now chemical weathering chemical weathering is the uh, on the surface of rocks and minerals the secondary product formed called the chemical transformation so uh, in the chemical weathering at the surface of the rocks and minerals the uh, this different uh, chemical processes takes place and due to the different chemical processes this uh, different constituents is formed the, the, the chemical changes is takes place and due to the chemical changes is takes place and due to the some chemical uh, formulation or how when it is changed into some chemical reaction and converted into different forms of the chemicals so this rock is weakened and then it is broken down so uh, without water there is a no chemical weathering when the carbon dioxide uh, uh, with the temperature it has done the chemical reaction so different uh, agents are also there the hearing agents are the different reaction okay the first one is a solution when the uh, the sodium chloride in the rock it is halide type of rock and it is soluble in water so this sodium chloride act up <coughs> uh, and remove the constituent so the rock converted into pieces here we see this how this rock is uh, change into red color due to the chemical weathering here we see the different forms of the iron here we see the chemical weathering process here we see the chemical weathering how this uh, rock is converted uh, uh, the color of this rock is converted red due to the some iron present in this rock here we see here we see this uh, this statue is uh, physically weathered now second is hydration the chemical combination of the molecule with the minerals soil forming minerals required humid condition so this hematite when uh, the water molecules add to this hematite limonite is form so by this way this uh, chemical weathering is takes place the minerals increase in volume and become soft so this it is easily weatherable hydrolysis mean the dissociation of hydrogen and hydroxy ion that is called the dissociation so at the surface of the rocks and minerals the water is dissociated and the uh, here the hydroxy hydroxy ion uh, the hydrogen is uh, 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 inside the uh, rock and the potassium is come out from the this rock and it is formed the potassium hydroxide here we also see this salicylic acid is formed so this uh, easily the product which is come out and easily leached by the percolating water and recombine and form the clay so this uh, different uh, uh, 
this hydrolysis process also play important role in chemical weathering oxidation the addition of oxygen is just simple uh, it activated by the moisture hydrated oxide form the soil forming minerals Soil forming minerals like the iron oxide, iron oxide when it is combined with the oxy oxygen, then this uh, ferric oxide is formed. This magnetite is also converted into hematite. So this uh, when this uh, uh, chemical changes is, takes place at the surface of the rock and this the crust. So it, uh, when this crust is formed crust is formed the crust is thickened day by day day by day and this custom crust is separated from the parent rock so how this by this way this uh, rock is uh, withered reduction means the removal of the oxygen so in here the ferric oxide uh, ferric oxide when the removal of oxygen the fer ferrous oxide is formed the carbonation the addition of the carbon dioxide when h2o and carbon dioxide is combined together the carbonic acid is formed so this carbonic acid uh, play very important role in the weathering process so this is all about the weathering of rocks and minerals hope you like this uh, video if you like this video please like share and if you have any query please comment uh, comment on comment section thank you